I, Vinita Philip, Assistant Professor of Department of Electronics and Telecommunication Engineering, AISSMS Institute of Information Technology, present my subsequent video on linear filtering using FFT. In this video, I would be discussing numerical examples based on these two methods of filtering. They are overlap and add method, overlap and save method. So let us take the input sequence x of n as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The total length of this x of n is 15. Let the impulse response h of n be 3, 2, 1, 1. Let us use overlap and add method to calculate the convolution. The long input data sequence is broken into subsequences of length 5. So L is 5. The length of H of N is denoted by M and M is 4. So L plus M minus 1 becomes 8. Each of the subsequence x1 of n, x2 of n and x3 of n needs to be made equal to length 8. For which as per the algorithm it states that we need to pad m minus 1 extra zeros at the end of each subsequence. So x1 of n becomes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 0, 0, 0. And similarly, x2 of n and x3 of n. For h of n, we need to pad L minus 1 number of zeros. So L is 5, L minus 1, 4 zeros are appended at the end of impulse response h of n to make its length 8. So h of n is 3, 2, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. The next step is to convolve each of the subsequence with the impulse response. Upon convolving the first sequence x1 of n with h of n, the output convolve sequence y1 of n is as shown 3, 8, 14, 21, 28, 17, 9 and 5. The resultant output convolve sequence y2 of n and y3 of n are identical to y1 of n as all the three subsequences x1 of n, x2 of n and x3 of n were identical. The final step is to write the accumulated result such that we need to overlap m-1 samples of the consequent blocks. So here we have overlapped m minus 1 m is 4 so 4 minus 1 3 samples to the output convolve sequence of the first block similarly for the third block we have overlapped m minus 1 output samples to the output convolve sequence of the second block so the Final answer will be writing these non-overlap sequences as it is and then adding the overlap samples. So 17 plus 3 gives 20, 9 plus 8 gives 17, 5 plus 14 gives 19. Again here 17 plus 3 gives 20, 9 plus 8 gives 17. 5 plus 14 gives 19 and the remaining samples as it is. Here as we are overlapping and then adding the name of the algorithm is overlap and add algorithm. Now let's take the same sequence x of n and the same sequence for h of n and use overlap and save method to calculate convolution. 
again the long input sequence x of n is broken into three subsequences each of length 5. The length of the impulse response is 4. We need to make each of the sequences equal to length L plus M minus 1 which is 8. In this algorithm it states that we need to append M minus 1 samples of the previous block to the current block. So for X2 of N subsequence we need to append M minus 1 which is 3 samples of the previous subsequence. Similarly for X3 of N. But for the first block, there are no previous block. So we append M minus 1, that is 3 zeros at the start. The next step is to append L minus 1 zeros at the end of the impulse response H of N. Then we need to convolve each of the subsequence with the impulse response. And the result obtained for y1 of n is 17, 9, 5, 3, 8, 14, 21, 28. While for y2 of n and y3 of n, the output convolved sequences remain identical as x2 of n was equal to x3 of n. The final step is to write the accumulated result. So here we need to overlap m minus 1 number of samples. m is 4. So 4 minus 1, 3 samples need to be overlapped. And these overlapped samples need to be discarded. And we are going to save on the remaining signal samples. But there is one more thing to be taken care of, is that the first 3 samples or the first m minus 1 samples of the first block need to be circularly shifted and appended at the end to get the final result. So if we compare the results obtained by using overlap and add algorithm and overlap and same algorithm, both the results are identical. So to conclude, fast convolution algorithms such as overlap and add algorithm and overlap and save algorithms were explained using numerical problems. Aliasing is avoided by making the length of sequences equal to L plus M minus 1 by appending extra zeros. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for many more videos on important concepts of digital signal processing. Thank you.